good morning my dear students today i am going to discuss the next part of spreadsheet that is selecting a single cell range of cells non adjacent cells selecting all cells in worksheet next part that will be undo redo deleting moving copying cell contents and functions in ms excel 2010 so first of all i am going to discuss how to rename insert and delete a sheet so first of all I must open the openoffice.org Yes I have my data here you can see it Now Students, first of all, you have to know how to insert the seat. There are two methods. One by clicking here, right mouse button and insert seat. Or you can go in insert and click on seat also. Now, if I want a new seat to be added and already it is added to here. And I want to do the shuffling. C2 will not come first. First 7C and then C2. You can click and drag it. Okay. How to delete it? Same way. Click the right mouse button and choose delete. You can change the name of the seat also by going to rename seat. Move and copy. When you want that, this seat should be copied or it should be moved from one place to another place. In that case, you will use this one. And the main point that is select all seat. If you want all the seats to be selected, then click on select all. Now, the next topic is selecting a range. See, students, this is my document. Let me open up, open the same file. Okay, this file I'm going to open it. Now, the next part how to select a cell. You see, you can select your cell either by the help of keyboard or by the help of mouse. But using mouse, your work will be easier click and drag it like this you can select it or I don't want to use the mouse I want that where my active cell is just towards the left side to be selected then I will use shift and left arrow key if I want no it should be selected at the right side then shift and right arrow key if I want to go and select the above one yes then I will use shift and above if I want to select down, shift and down, like this you can do it. Now next one is very important. That is selecting your range of cells in non-consecutive manner. That means these all cells should not be in a sequence. Like I want this one, this one, this one is all now you can see these all cells if you will select by using mouse what will happen just watch it i selected 78 now i have to select 91 also as i will click on 91 what will happen my dear 
78 will not be selected. You see, if I go 100, then previous one will not be selected. So in that case, if you want to select this all, you must have to press the CTRL key. For 78 and then I will keep pressing. I will not remove my finger from the CTRL key. I keep pressing this one and then mass 91. Yes, in Sanskrit, these all. Okay, in GK, all. Now you can ask, sir, why you are selecting this way? What is the benefit of this one? Suppose I want only the selective data or selective range of cells only to be formatted. Other ones should be normal. Like, when I will increase the size, only these cells size will be increased, you see. Now, and why has is coming? Because lack of space. I have to increase it. Okay. But let me have not that much B. Okay. I want only 50. Now, you can understand. Your yes, attention can go to those numbers which are big. Even you want to have the color that all you can do. It. This is the main purpose of selecting your cells in non-consecutive manner. Clear. Now, my next part is selecting all cells. I want the entire cell to be selected. Entire cells means what? Whatever the number of cells that I have in a seat, that all must be selected. So in that case, what I will do? I will go for two ways. Okay. First of all, I will go for select all. And second way that is control plus A. That means simultaneously I will press CTRL A. Now these are the two, but one more method is there which maybe you are not knowing. If I have to select the entire cells. So what I will do my dear, you can see the row header and the column header just first column header and first row header yes above of that you will see a rectangular box i'm talking about this one i will click here i will click here when i will click here my all cells those cells which contains data and not contains data all will be highlighted. You see, I'm going to work on that one. I'm going to here and click it. And I will click it. I will see all my cells highlighted. So this is called. Yes, this is the way you can have all your cells selected, my dear. Now. My next part is. Yes, undo, redo. You know what is undo? If suppose, where gone my calc? Now. Suppose just now I have opened my yes, seat. Now, students, I have to delete these three data. I deleted. Okay, first work I did this work. Now, second work I have. Change the style. Take in this one and made underline also. Now three changing I have done just now. First one I deleted the cell. Second one I increased the size. No, I changed the style and third one I underline it. Now I want to go and cancel. 
whatever the action that has been performed recently one by one i want to cancel it in that case i will use undo you can go here in edit and you can use undo or you can use control z one by one you see first time yes deleted second time yes your style changed and third time it is underlined so first of all underline will be removed you see removed underline now next one style will be okay and next one which i deleted that will come back got it yes and fourth one i have increased the size of the font of non consecutive cells that one now what the redo says whatever the action performed by the undo that i am going to reverse it that i am going to cancel it so what will happen yes what is the shortcut key of redo control plus y or you can go in edit and click redo so i am going to use control y first work what was yes that is underline one remove second one style third one deleted and fourth one that means some non consecutive cell size increase so when i will use redo yes whatever the last two one action has been taken that will be done at last okay the last action what was taken that was your underline and what was the first action taken that was increasing the size is increasing the yes a value size which are present in different cells you understood now i am going to use you control y now see second one deleted third one what i did it i have changed the style that will be cancel fourth one i underline that i cancel that will reverse it so this is the role of undo and redo one now my next topic is yes a deleting moving cell contents so how you can delete it just now i have explained and how you can move it you see suppose these are my contents and i want to move it i want to move this one from here to other place then i must use cut control x and where you want to paste it locate your yes cursor over there and use paste this is called move but when i will use copy my original data wherever it is located that will remain there and it will allow me to paste these all items multiple times it depends on me whether one time i want to paste it or multiple times just now you see it i am going to select this range of cells going to have copy and wherever i want paste one more time paste one more time but in cut and paste only one time yes your text will be shifted again you want it cannot be again from there you have to cut it now the next part that is copying cell now the functions students you have a lot of functions there which are important and which are not important it is up to you what you want to work it so let me just discuss some functions which are important first one you all are knowing how to do the sum first one is that yes one by one you can entertain the cell address like equal b2 plus c2 plus d2 plus e2 like that one and you will press enter key okay now you have the other method also to yes to do the sum i will use equal sum 
and from where to where suppose i want from b2 to k2 then i will give the source one and the last one cell that is k2 and press the enter key some has come students you can have your selective cell sum also like equal sum i want b2 to be added after that c2 not d2 will be added so in that case listen my dear when you are using ms excel we use comma sign if you have the different cells address but here in open office cal instead of comma you have to use semicolon please keep it in mind so i will be using semicolon now b2 then d2 semicolon and then j2 i want and then k2 now these only four cells will be added got it so it is up to you how you want to use your formula or function in which way now first one some i have discussed now you have average also equal average from where to where p2 and then colon k2 and press enter key average also have come now one more is there that is a product equal pro duct if i want to have the product of two cells that is h2 and i2 what i will use here i will use h2 and then i will use semicolon and then i2 now your this one has come product now next topic that is your round function first of all let me here do it and have the size increased okay and even the font size so that you can see properly now students i want to use the round function equal round now listen my dear the round has two part one is the number and count suppose my number is 4 5 6 345 this is my value please keep it in mind what the value it is 456.345 first you have to understand if i want to round up up to one place then what will happen this three will become four okay see sorry sorry one mistake i have done because comma should not be used semicolon okay now sorry it is four my dear it is four so how it will be but if it is but if it is if it is 355 and i want to have the round of up to one decimal places that in that case 456.355 will become as 456.4 see clear now not only that you can have round of up to two places also if i will use in place of 1 2 it will be 456.36 because 1 to 4 is not round off if 5 on word 5 or 5 on word you are writing then it is round off you see it will be 456.36 okay but but if i have given this one as 4 then what will happen 456.36 456.36 
456.35 will come. Clear? This is round function. Now, you have a power function also. Equal power. Now, it has your base and exponent. Now, power, that is 2. Semicolon. 2 to the power 5 is what? 2 into 4, 2 into 2, 4, 4 to 8, 16, 32 should be. So I am writing 5 and closing and pressing enter key, whether it will show or not. It is showing 32. Yes, you have a, a quotient also. Now, um, 6, 2. Sorry, comma, not semicolon. Now, what will be my answer? 3. So, I many functions are there, you know. So, whichever function that is important for you, that you can use, like count, count A is there. Like, here I want count count and then uh, a1 a1 not a2 colon and last one is k2 and when i will use you listen my dear when i will use count a function and then a2 colon a2 will be not getting 10 you see that 10 white is shown 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 because it entertains count function only entertains your numeric value but i have started my journey from here but this is not the number that's why in count function it has not been added but when i will use count a function that was count, but when I will use count a function, then this Aditya also will be counted, my dear. So this time 10 will not come, 11 will come on the screen. Check it. Clear? So you have other functions also like max. Max, you know? maximum value just compare this one just check yourself manually from here to there which one is the maximum value you manually can say sir 100 is the maximum one and minimum one is 64 you can say but i want that my computer should check which one is the maximum and minimum value? So here, one thing, please keep it in mind. Whenever you are using formula or function, you must have to use equal sign. If you will not use equal sign, it will be treated as text. Just now you see. I'm not using equal sign. I'm using max. Okay. Max A2, sorry, A2 not B2. B2 colon K2. Will my maximum value will be shown? No, my dear. Why? Because I have not used equal, so that's why it will be treated as a text. And same way it will be written. Got it? So it is mandatory to use equal sign here. And now press enter key. The maximum has come 100. Now, I want not a maximum. I want a minimum. So what is the minimum? 64. Sorry. M-I-N. Now 64 has come. So it is up to you. You see many functions are there. Insert. Uh, function is there. Now many functions are there. Some are useful and some are not useful. Yes, even today is also useful, my dear. Uh, Yes, today function is there. 
what is the use of today if suppose you want your current date just now what is my current date so you will write t o d a y starting and closing close and press enter key so today date will come okay so these are the benefits of function i have already touched all the parts yes thank you my dear